Not all heroes wear capes, but maybe Deborah Rouse should. Deborah and her family were on vacation having dinner at a restaurant in North Carolina. Hannah Marie Jarvis was at that same restaurant feeding her baby mashed potatoes when Tiny Callie started to choke. I looked at her and she was just gagging and it scared me to death and so I just I picked her up and I looked at her face and it was just so red and and then I just started beating on her back because, you know, I didn't know what else to do. I was in a panic. All of us were screaming. And that's when the waitress started screaming for help. The waitress went over there and um, they were saying she's choking, she's choking. I just jumped up, went over there, snatched the baby out of their arms and started doing the Heimlich maneuver where you tilt the baby down and use the ball of your, your hand to actually try to hit, slap the baby's back. And um, they kept yelling that she's not breathing, she's not breathing. So I continued a few slaps on the back and then I felt her and I held her upright and I felt her chest moving in and out so she was breathing again. Deborah knew the maneuver because she works at an ophthalmologist's office and learned it through a class. As for what made her act so quickly. Pure instinct, you know, I would want someone to actually step in if I wasn't there for one of my sons. So my main aim, you know, grabbing that child to say, you know, I'm going to give this baby back alive to her mom. I was, I just wasn't thinking about giving this mother a seven month old dead baby. I wasn't going to do that. But in all the chaos, the two parents only exchanged full names before the ambulance whisked Callie away to the hospital. Still wanting to express her gratitude, Hannah posted this on Facebook, asking if anyone knew Rouse. The internet did and connected them. They're like, we got her, we found her. And I was like, oh my gosh, hallelujah. They exchanged phone numbers and hung out before Deborah returned home to South Carolina. Every year during the holidays, Hannah plans to reach out. I want her to be a part of Callie's life as much as possible so that Callie will grow up knowing that this angel helped protect her that day and she saved her. Two families forever connected, now with a lot more to be thankful for. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Stephanie Officer.